the Wario Land games, they exist. I think a lot of people know of them, but they're not discussed ad nauseum like most other Mario spin-offs. Maybe it's because almost every game is on a portable console, or maybe people assume they're merely competent but simple platformers. Wario Land is an extremely inventive and memorable series of games. If you think these games aren't worth your time, I hate you. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, but um, seriously, if you're of the mindset that these games can't offer you anything more than your standard Mario affair, I suggest you take a closer look at them. Out of the six games in the Wario Land franchise, do these two count? I don't see the word land anywhere in their titles. I'm trying to look. Do you see the word land anywhere? Yeah, no. Out of the six games in this franchise, I'd say the most ambitious one has to be its third entry. I mean, fourth entry. I'll admit I've only beaten half of this series, but I'm confident in saying 3 is the most ambitious because of its unique structure. Unique for a Wario Land game, and for a platformer in general. Now when you start Wario Land 3, it might be a bit of a shock if you recently played any of the other Wario Land games recently beforehand recently. You won't be able to grab enemies, ground pound, swim. You might just end up throwing the Game Boy in the trash. But then you should probably dig it back out, idiot, because none of these abilities are really gone. You just have to find them. Wario Land 3 is a bite-sized Metroidvania. I say bite-sized not because it's on a portable system, but because of its progression system. You won't be exploring one giant interconnected map, Instead, you'll be exploring, and re-exploring, a plethora of small levels. Not a whole lot to say about the music, it's all pretty solid. Um, please play a Paul-stretched sample of the music, please. Yeah, there you go. See? Art-wise, it's pretty great, too. The animation is fantastic, and even in screenshots, the quirky brilliance of this game's art direction shines. The mastery of the Game Boy Color graphics that this team has really gives the fact that this game was made late in its lifespan away. You can really- th oh, oh my god, that looks fucking awful. What happened? Is that my computer doing that? Maybe Solution, it's because almost you every probably game figured out already. Like I said, you don't start the game with all your abilities from previous entries. You earn them back by finding one of four multicolored keys and bringing it to its corresponding chest. But not every chest nets you an ability. The majority of them cause things in the overworld to change, opening up new paths and levels you've already explored, or even new levels entirely. This means that a total completion of Wario Land 3 will see you playing through every level four times. But what- Oh no- oh, okay, don't cry! No no no, I see the tears, it's alright, no no no! Oh, don't cry, no no! The level may be the same, but the path you take through it will feel completely different each time. Going for the red chest in level N6 is an experience totally unique from going for the gray one. After finding a chest, the game shows you which levels you've unlocked new paths in. Sometimes it's just one, other times you've got three to choose from. Like I said, it's a bite-sized metroidvania. You get a short burst of exploration, then the game entices you into finding just one more chest. It's super easy to pick up and put down when you need to, but it's also quite addicting. This approach also trims backtracking into a much less arduous process. Rather than slogging your way across a gigantic map to return to a previous area, you can simply select that area on the map. And since each area is fairly small, finding new paths within them is never difficult. Alright, okay though. There's sort of a big thing about this game that I've sort of been neglecting to mention until now. In fact, I'm still not even mentioning it specifically. I'm about to mention it though. I'm gonna do it real soon. You've probably noticed by now that the HUD is... Non-existent. Where's the lives counter? Well, there are no lives. Alright, not so weird. There's plenty of platformers without live systems these days. But wait a minute, you big fucker. There's no health meter, and Wario's not changing size when he gets hit. Well, guess what? There is no health system in this game. Wario's invincible as hell. He can't die. He won't die. So if there's no health system of any kind, what happens when you're attacked by an enemy? 
Now, if you're familiar at all with the Wario Land series, you're probably aware of the many transformations featured in each game. As you might expect, you'll need to transform to progress many times throughout your adventure. But sometimes, you don't want to transform. Sometimes you're just trying to traverse normally, but your path is filled with transformation-causing enemies. The caveat to Wario Land 3's health system omission is that the only way the game has to punish you is by wasting your time. This could be via sending you back, making you wait for a long transformation to end, or both. The goal of this room is to get to the other end and use the zombie transformation to fall through this part of the floor. The challenge is that if you transform into a zombie before you reach that part of the floor, you'll be unable to make this jump here, and you'll be forced to exit the room, make your way back, and try again. Once you know to duck to avoid the zombies' heads rather than jump over them, it's not too bad of a challenge, but the punishment is still extremely harsh for making even a small mistake. Getting hit in the majority of this game's boss battles will immediately send you out of the arena. This isn't too bad when you know how to damage them, but when you're searching for their weak spot, it can be quite frustrating. In fact, a lot of levels in this game can be quite frustrating. Something you'll need to learn about this game's enemies is that they won't just passively pace back and forth. Once they see you, they'll become hostile, and touching them or whatever projectile they shoot will knock you back or transform you. So alright, keep your distance from the enemies. That's not so bad. <laughs> the problem is your main form of attack forces you to get close to your enemies. You can also jump or later ground pound them, but again, you're forced to briefly get very close to the enemy, and if you miss their head, the consequences may be dire. The solution, as you've probably figured out already, is to give Wario a shotgun. Without all this knockback bullfuckery, Wario Land 3 would be a brightly shining pearl in a sea of Game Boy Color games. Ahoy, sailors! Did you enjoy that sea metaphor? Leave a like in the comments if you did. Arrgh! It's by no means bad as is, but the experience is certainly marred by all those times you want to pull out your hair because you have to climb all the way back up because this fucking bear froze me again! And while there's certainly a lot of levels that won't cause you to grit your teeth, there's enough that will that makes me really wish the game had stuck with a traditional health system of some kind. Making an action puzzle platformer without a fail state is a very interesting design challenge, but that doesn't make it any less making me angrier. I wrote that phrase, I recorded myself saying it, and now I'm editing it into the video. Ultimately, I think Wario Land 3 is still definitely worth playing despite its spots of frustration. The transformation puzzles are clever, the art is strange and delightful, and it's good. It's good. But it could have been great. That's it, end the video. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, consider liking it on YouTube, because that actually does help me get seen uh, easier. Um, I want to thank everyone who commented on all my other videos, some nice words. Um, it actually does very much mean a lot to me. Uh, I appreciate every single one of them, so thank you very much. Um, I'm gonna try my best to upload a little more consistently, but uh, no promises, because I don't really have anywhere to record when I'm away at my school. Uh, yeah, so... Thanks again for watching, um, I'll end with a joke, uh, Wario!